How's it going everyone? My name is Basie and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about how you can customize your mask within Breakpoint. Of course, Title Update 3.1.0 has recently came out, which introduced Live Event 3, where you go into gas areas and basically equip a mask. It isn't possible to manually change it without this specific feature. And luckily I was pretty much the first person to find this, I believe. I haven't seen any other person make a video based on this and I haven't seen any Reddit posts or anything like that on it. So I guess let's get straight into this. But first, I wanna ask you to subscribe. I'll be making plenty more videos based on Ghost Recon Breakpoint in the months to come and possibly for another year, if there is going to be a year two for the game. I'm part of Dell Company, so I do get early access to stuff, which I'm really appreciative for in regards to Breakpoint. But anyways, let's get straight into this video. Slab Event 3 went down quite well with the community. Of course we've had quite a few newcomers to Breakpoint and we have also had quite a lot of people come back who maybe left the game early on in Breakpoint's life. So it's overall had good reviews and I'm really happy that it has. I'm glad people have enjoyed it. Of course there are some improvements. You can't wear the gas masks which are within the cosmetic store within these areas where the gas is and you also can't wear masks with helmets. That's of course one which has been asked for for quite some time. Why they haven't added it already? I guess the live event kind of adds it in a way by kind of dangling the carrot in a way that you've got this specific gas mask and you have to wear that gas mask within these areas you can't have a helmet with that so it's really a shame that you can't wear like the heavy gas mask with a helmet hopefully they'll add it in the future hopefully they'll kind of see feedback from this live event and that's one of the main things in there but anyways let's talk about this specific feature about how you can change the mask's color so as you see, I currently don't have a mask on. If I do go into the area over here, I do end up putting one on because obviously I am in one of these gas areas and it is just a standard black mask. But if I do exit this area, it of course comes straight back off. And the way you customize the color of your mask is by going into the apparel, apparel section, the customize section, should I say? Go onto face mask, you can select any of these, even, even the scarfs down below here. So I usually go for like the ninja half mask, for example. And I've got the alpine colour on it, so you can change the colour by clicking on that. Going for any one that you want. Go back into the area, let's just show that it's on. Go back into the area, it's going to put a mask on, which is the alpine colour. Now of course you can change the colour of this mask within these gas areas as well. So for example, go in here and I'll do a different one. For example, uh, let's say, let's do a scarf actually. Uh, so if I change this to this one, for example, right there. And it does change right there. I don't know if you can see that. Zoom in a little bit. Can see it a little bit better there. Can change it to how you like. Of course, you can't have masks on outside other than like the cosmetic ones, uh, such as, let's say, probably heavy duty gas mask. And there's also one within the store, uh, which is here. Can't have these uh, within the, the areas, unfortunately, like this one. You can't have them in like the gas mask areas, which is a bit of a shame, but at least this is showing that you can change the colour and I'm quite glad that I found this. So that's how you change the colour of the gas mask. Maybe they'll add this as like a proper feature where they'll make the gas mask an actual cosmetic that you can go into and out of these areas with. Maybe they'll take the advice that the heavy gas mask should be uh, one which you can go into these areas with without it swapping to the default one. I mean there by the way. Of course I would also like the fact that they should have like the helmet and the mask together and they are able to maybe choose to have them both on at once. I know the Sentinel has that and it kind of proves that it is possible. I don't know if it's that's proving that it's possible for the enemies and that's only the enemies and they can't put it on like you. I'm not really too sure but I would assume that you would be able to put it on you if they did add it to the game or at least there probably is a way of 
doing this and it might come in like a future update we can only really continue to pester them and try and get it added but yeah that is really all for this video i do hope you have enjoyed do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and also hit that like button it's greatly appreciated and hit the notification bell to get notified when i upload also check out my twitter and i have also posted my discord i need to add that to my channel properly but i'll hopefully put that down in the description so yeah thanks for coming along see ya